welcome back to our channel. Well, as you can see, we have started the week off with rain. Um, I think they said there was like a winter blast in the forecast. So it's going to be a cold one. It's summer and it's like 13 degrees today. So really cold. The weather's cleared up a little bit now, so we're just ducking outside to check on all the animals and feed them, and Alana wanted to <laughs> play with her chickens. She's just obsessed with them at the moment, so they're very friendly because they're handled a lot. Oh. Okay, so it's the next day and we've had this pesky tree in our front yard that's been dead ever since we moved here, um, you know, three years ago. So it's time to cut it down, but there's a slight problem because there's a power line right there. I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but there is a power line right there, which is connected to our house, obviously. Um, so we're gonna try and do that safely and yes if you're wondering there is a barbecue hanging off the car it's actually australia day on this day and we just took the barbecue down to the local reserve and had a barbecue with our neighbors so it was a bit of fun but we haven't taken the barbecue off the car yet job I mean it's always always happening here but we've been loading a bunch of wood lately as you know if you follow our channel the only thing that we do consistently is cut down wood stack it up cut down more wood stack it up anyway so Nathan's building a carryall to help with that but of course like we can sit the kids on it as well and like the pig feed bags which are 20 kilos and and whatnot so that's what he's doing right now and um yeah, I don't know what else to tell you about it, except let's get going. So just to clarify, this whole um, carryall was made off of scrap metal and wood and pellets um, that we had on our property. So it is 100% free. So just proves that you can make anything with a little bit of, um, you know, leftover offcuts or whatnot. So yeah.
So it was at this point that we decided that we wanted to put a back on the carryall because it just makes sense, particularly if we're carrying wood or even having the kids on because, you know, there's moving parts right there um, that nothing would fall out or any hands would go through or whatnot. So, um, yeah, we're going to put a back on it, I think, but we're just having a little test drive and it seems to work really well. product we did put the back on it and it's so much better um, but yeah all free everything that we had was at home yes we've got the kids drawing it with chalk but it will wash off in the rain and um you know it's just like a farm tool so yeah what a good little tractor attachment this is going to be Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting and subscribing. We've just hit 500 subscribers, which is our halfway goal to 1,000. So we are so grateful for every single one of you and everyone that watches our videos. And um, we will see you next time. So have a great week and we will see you then. Bye.